Gonna give it all up and head for the hills My heart is broke, my body hurts And I live every day like I'm gonna die young That's the man that I'm trying to be That's the man that I'm trying to become Oh, what will they say when I'm gone? Oh, what will they say when I'm gone? Over my years of, of being a field producer, I've gotten to know a lot of important people in the industry through filming and being able to share a tree with those guys. So now having our own show, I think it's important for us to get to know our partners better. And this year we were able to bring the guys out from Winsent and Fourth Arrow. And looking at our calendar, Kentucky stood out because um, Steve Hartley's place was, was one of those outfits that we'd been going to since the very beginning and had great success. First Kentucky button, huh? First one. And I think when you're looking to build a relationship um, with somebody, whether it's business or personal or both, the best way to do that is at a hunting camp. And being able to camp out there in Kentucky was a perfect way to get to know them. And we knew going into this trip that even if the weather was bad, that they'd get along with Steve because Steve's one of those guys that likes to chase whitetails and will try his best. So to us, Kentucky was the perfect recipe to build our relationship with those guys. Thank you, buddy. No problem. First Kentucky button, right? First one. Broke that curse, dude. Yeah. Broke that curse. He came down right underneath us and just blew them scrapes out right there. There's a doe right underneath the stand, his doe. So I just stood there and just waited. And when I first saw him, right under the tree. Right under the tree, just blew them scrapes out and he stood right there. Nice. And he died right there. Yeah, that's a perfect shot. Earlier today, I went and cut the inner loins out. We got a little Traeger rub we're gonna put on them. They've been soaking in uh, just a little bit of Coca Cola actually. Kind of that acid and coke kind of draws a lot of that gaminess out of them. Anybody that knows me knows me I'm no cook, but 
I can tell you that there's not much better than fresh venison right from the field to that Traeger grill the same day. And we're about to indulge here in Kentucky. One of my favorite things about tagging out early on a trip is being able to prepare a good, healthy meal and to get that campfire stoked and ready for when your buddies return.
This segment is brought to you by Film the Hunt. Get an outdoor video education right from home with filmthehunt.com. seeing some good action around the stand this morning. They had that nice nine point we saw last night come in at, he came in at 40 and stood at 30 for like a second, threw some brush and just couldn't get a shot at him. But they walked away, so. You know, we're really fortunate to be able to travel like we do and, and see all these different places across the United States. And Frankfurt actually is the state capital of uh, Kentucky. And um, the Frankfurt Cemetery is home of Daniel Boone's gravesite. Uh, I think he died in, you know, the early 1800s. So you're looking at a gravesite that's about 200 years old. And I just think that's a lot of history. He's an American pioneer, you know, he was obviously a woodsman and uh, somebody that, that hunters should, uh, should know a thing or two about. So we are pulling in right now and how we're gonna find it, I have no idea. We may have to stop and get a map or maybe it's on Google, I don't know. But definitely one of these uh, unique opportunities and we're gonna take advantage of it. So mad. Oh man. You're allowed to throw peanuts here. <laughs> <laughs> oh good. Up at 30. Came in at 30. He zigzagged all the way to us, stopped at 30, and turned around, walked out. He was dog and doze right by her, and she wouldn't even move. She was just sitting there. She just she didn't even look up. She knew. By the way, I got back, cleaned off that. That doesn't seem like you're falling a lot. But I it could just be
Any moment now, we could be seeing a good one. This spot just saw a perfect, perfect pinch point between two fields. We've got the river to our east right there, so we're drinking our coffee, trying to stay awake. I know the uh, the four Thorough boys have been seeing some good bucks and a couple of close encounters, so it seems like they're close. I'm feeling confident these next couple of days will be good for us. I'll sit here. And... I mean, we, we want to recover the deer if he's dead. And he's yeah. going to be just as dead in the morning as he is now if he's dead. Yeah, I agree. Just checked the arrow in. It's not good. The arrow's almost clean, a little bit of blood. There's a lot of hair. There's some blood on the ground. Just, I don't know what happened. It happened so fast, I'm not really sure. Looking back at all I I think the hardest thing for a bow hunter is to go out and track a buck that you know deep down is still alive. Although Steve and I followed that trail for a long ways, we ended up losing blood and had to call off the search. And even though my arrow didn't hit its mark, I can say we still had a successful trip. From Tom harvesting his first Kentucky whitetail to Nate and Gabe having encounters almost every day made this trip one that we won't forget. When all said and done, just messed up a really good opportunity. Breakfast of champions. 
I've never been to Chick-fil-A for breakfast. When you're on the road with, like me, you hit up, you eat Chick-fil-A. Yeah? Don't want to eat anywhere else. It's not just for chicks? No. It's for fillets, too. <laughs> fellas? They're really good fellas.